Hello and welcome to this walkthrough on how to set up a Julia project. First, we are going to install Julia. Let's go to the julialang.org page. Here you can see the download. We'll press the download and I will choose Linux as I'm using Linux. Okay, save it. Okay, it has downloaded. I will close that and go to my home. I will extract the tar package. Okay, now the extracted tar package is here inside the tar package, uh, inside, uh, sorry, inside the Julia package, we have the bin and the Julia executable is located here. Next, we will need to add that executable to our path so that the uh, programs can find it. Okay, I will uh, find my bash.rc file, open it, and I already have a Julia installation here, but I'm going to use the one that we installed. Okay, I will save it, and the path is now added. Next, I will open my Visual Studio code. Okay. Mm, I will open terminal and I will nav navigate to the projects folder. Okay, now we can check that our Julia installation works. I will type Julia. And now I will open the Julia package manager using using this key is the right square bracket I can now generate the Julia project using the generate command and the project name I will use demo okay it's now created let's open the demo project in the Visual Studio code Okay, it's now open. We can see the project.toml file, which has some configurations, and the source file, which has the demo.jl file. Next, we will want to add some documentation to our Julia package. Okay, so let's open terminal. Let's open Julia. Let's open the package manager. And now I will add documenter and document documenter tools. We can use the documenter tools to generate the documentation. And we'll use the generate command. And now it generated the docs folder. And inside here we have the source. Inside the source we have the markdown files that the documenter will use to generate the documentation. And we will also have the make.jl file which has the commands which will create the documentation. Let's open the package manager and add our packages, development package. Okay, now Julia can find the demo from the path. Next, we'll navigate to the docs folder and now I will use the make.jl file to generate the documentation. Okay, the documentation is now generated into the build folder. We can open that folder in your preferred browser. Open the index.html file and you will see the documentation. Next, we'll want to add some tests to our project. So we're at the root folder, open 
Julia, I will add the test package. Oh, actually, we will have to activate our package. Now add test package. Now you see that it added the test to the dependencies. Uh, next, we will have to create test folder. Inside test folder, we'll create run tests.jl file. Now we can use the tests package and we can add the tests with the macro test and then some truth statement here. Now we'll just add trivial truth and we can run the tests using test command inside the package when we have activated it and the tests passed. Now, next we will have to, or we will want to create, uh, make the package into a GitHub repository and first we'll need to init git. So let's use git init. Okay, now it is a git repository. Next, let add some, let's add some git ignores git. Okay. It's empty, so let's go to our browser and Julia git ignore. Okay, we'll open this GitHub repository that has the ignores. We can copy them, go to our package and save them. This will ignore the manifest and the build files and some other things we do not want to include into our repository. Okay, next we'll add the files to the git repository and commit the files. Now they're committed. Let's open GitHub. I will create a new repository with the name demo.jl. It is convention to add the .jl to the repository name. Let's create the repository. Let's copy to SSH code. And we'll now use git remote add origin and the SSH code. Now it's added, git push origin and the master branch. Now we will push the git repository to the GitHub repository here. And we will see our code in the GitHub repository. Thanks for following this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye.